Welcome this morning. Uh, it's great to be with you. As we look this morning, we're going to just take a break from 1 Peter for today. Uh, but in Isaiah chapter 40, starting in verse 28, I want to read uh, these verses for you. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the whole earth. He never becomes faint or weary. There is no limit to his understanding. He gives strength to the faint and strength to the powerless. Youths may, gr may become faint and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who trust in the Lord will renew his strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. Uh, I, I, I believe we actually shared some of these verses in our prayer meeting a few weeks ago. Uh, but I was drawn to them this morning just because uh, today was another day when I wanted to be weary or I felt weary as uh, we uh, had some more water in the old building and getting that cleaned up. Thankful for uh, Steve Gillespie and Paul Bloodsworth and Carolyn Crane coming to help uh, clean it up. But it's a time when it, it just reminds me and maybe with all these storms, with all these trials, with everything going on in our world today, it makes you think of the weariness of life, the weariness of, of trying to do God's will and follow God's path when it sometimes it feels like everything is against you. What this text reminds us, of course, I, you're probably up, most of you are familiar with, with the, the last few verses about youths becoming faint and weary, young men stumbling and fall, but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength and soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. What's, what's essential for us in that, though, is not just the positive of those two verses, but the base of that encouragement. You see, uh, Isaiah tells us that young people, the most vigorous, the strongest, the most uh, energetic, can become weary and tired. Anybody can become weary and tired working under their own strength. But he begins in verse 28 uh, that we serve a God who does not become weary or faint, a God with no limits, a God who is everlasting and has power and listens to you and wants to support you. The basis of this encouragement is that we find strength in God and not in ourselves. There is no way you can soar like an eagle under your own strength. There's no way that you can keep going without becoming faint and tired under your own strength. But if we trust in the Lord in the midst of all trials, if we trust in the Lord for all of our strength, we can soar on wings like eagles. We can run and not grow tired. We can walk and not become weary and faint. Trust in the Lord for your strength. Find strength in Him and endurance in Him. And you will not only continue and move forward without failing, but you will soar in ways that you never thought you could. Father, we come before you today. Help us to trust in your strength. Help us to serve under your power. Help us to be obedient that we might soar in the path that you've laid before us. Let us not do anything under our own strength. Let us not trust our own understanding, but trust in you and your power and your strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Well, thank you all for joining us. Uh, thank you for uh, listening in today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 11 o'clock as we hop back in uh, to 1 Peter. We're almost finished with 1 Peter and uh, looking forward to what God has for us in chapter 5. Have a blessed day. Hey, uh, it is Wednesday today. Uh, join us at 6.30 today for our uh, <clears throat> Zoom prayer meeting. So if you need that link and you have not received it in the past, let me know. Uh, I'll be sending it out just to remind all of you later today. But if you need it, uh, let me know and I'll make sure that you get it to join our prayer meeting on Zoom. Have a blessed day. I love you. Bye.